How to adjust the rotation speed on a Hunter ST1600 rotor using the speed control knob. The speed control knob controls the rotor's speed of rotation. When taken out of the box, the Hunter ST1600 rotor will be able to make a complete 180 degree sweep in 80 seconds at 90 PSI, 6.2 bar, 620 kPa. To adjust the rotor's speed, turn it on manually and rotate the brass speed control knob on the rotor's side. To slow the speed of the rotor, tighten the knob by rotating it clockwise. To speed up the rotor, adjust the knob counterclockwise. If the speed control knob is tightened down all the way, the rotor won't rotate. The knob should not be removed to speed up the rotation. How to adjust the arc on a Hunter ST1600 rotor? The Hunter ST1600 rotor comes factory preset to 180 degrees, and it can be adjusted from 40 to 360 degrees. In some cases, fine-tuning the arc or changing it to a completely different arc pattern is required. To begin, it's important to understand that the rotor has a ratcheting feature that allows you to rotate it toward the playing field. First, turn on the rotor manually and push it forcefully toward the intended irrigation area. The rotor will ratchet unless the arc adjustment clips interfere with the reversing trip arm on the back of the gear drive. If needed, slide the arc adjustment clips to move the rotor to the intended irrigation area. Once the rotor is aimed toward the playing field, slide the arc adjustment clips to the location for its final arc setting. Move the trip arm on the back of the gear drive manually to speed up the process. Lastly, Repeat the action of sliding the clips until the arc pattern is set for the intended irrigation area. How to access the turbine chamber on a Hunter ST1600 rotor to check for debris. When a Hunter ST1600 rotor is not turning, or you need to check for potential debris, you may need to access the turbine chamber. To begin, pull off the infill barrier system cup if one is being used. Remove the plug with a flathead screwdriver. Next. Use a half-inch, 13-millimeter socket wrench to unscrew the nut beneath the plug and remove the rotor's cover. Use the gear drive installation removal tool, part number 517-600SP, to unscrew the rotor from the riser. Unthread the six screws on the turbine chamber to remove the turbine cover. From here, Remove the propeller and see if there's any debris blocking the flow of water in the turbine or the turbine chamber. How to remove the main and secondary nozzles on a Hunter ST1600 rotor to check for debris. If the Hunter ST1600 rotor is not turning or there's a flow obstruction, you'll need to check the main and secondary nozzles. To access these nozzles, pull off the infill barrier system cup if one is being used and remove the plug with a flathead screwdriver. Next, use a half-inch, 13-millimeter socket wrench to unscrew the nut beneath the plug and remove the rotor's cover. The secondary nozzle requires a 3 8 inch, 10-millimeter wrench to unscrew the nut and inspect for debris. The main nozzle can be unthreaded with channel locks or by hand. Simply unscrew and check inside for any debris.